Hello there, I hope I find you well today. The weather continues to be incredibly warm. And actually, one of the things that struck me when I was going through the video archive that we've got here is that actually there's a load of footage that in turn did inspire some of Weir Yard that we've never actually put out. And this is to do with the back scene that Les did for me. And it's a great back scene, but it's kind of like a back scene in several parts. And one of the areas that really strikes people when they come up here is the bit that is itself modelled on Langdale in the Lake District. Now, this came from a number of views that were taken at the top of Pavey Arc and around Stickle Tarn. It's a really great area. And if you do get a chance to visit there, it is well worth the visit. But be warned. It is quite a steep climb, believe me. It's like a never ending staircase going all the way up Stickle Gill, but it's well worth it for the views from the top. Now, it's quite a few years ago that Zoe and I went there and we really did luck out in terms of the weather. It wasn't too hot, but it was a lovely clear day. And actually that's probably the best type of weather to get when climbing a mountain. You don't want it too hot like we've got at the moment, Otherwise, you're going to run huge risks of heat stroke and sunstroke. But we did it just right. And we got some amazing footage. And that footage, in turn, inspired some of this back scene when Les came several years later to do it for me. So in association with our sponsor, Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts, I'm going to take you on a little journey from a few years ago. So I do apologize if I look a little bit thinner. This COVID lockdown has not been kind, as I believe it probably has been a bit tough for quite a few people. But let's get out into the great outdoors and get away from this COVID lockdown. Well, virtually, at least. And this is the amazing footage that we got. <laughs> There really is no service here. I think if we start regular, then we're going to be alright. We'll show the man what to be about the city girls can do. This is Stickle Gill. We've got to go up there. That little rocky outcrop in the middle, we kind of go up to just beyond it and then turn right. And up there at the top is the tarn. And we've not actually walked that far to come up to the bridge. But there's Langdale. Look at that sky.
we're here on the mountain. This is this is great. This is Jenny Cam vlog uh, number one. I'm still getting used to this uh, smartphone, this iPhone. But if I turn around this way, we can see over there. Look at that view. And look at that sky. And look at that strange person who's following me up the mountain. So this is brilliant. This I'm really enjoying it. And uh, there's a good breeze, but there's still some decent sun as well. So. We're not too cold, we're not too warm, and just right, we're in the Goldilocks climb. Last time we came up here actually it's interesting that at each little bit you thought it's just a little way and then we're at the top and as you came over the crest it'd be like this false top and then it goes up again and it just kept going like that and going like that and it was October when we were climbing this mountain so we were very mindful that it was going to go dark at about five o'clock at the time, four or five o'clock so we timed how long we needed to get back down the mountain and I can remember we were down to the last 15 minutes this point and it was just such a push to get here to the top of Pavey Arc but we did it but now we're doing it and I feel like even though we're running we're completely out of shape we're making a much quicker ascent we're doing a lot better we don't feel at this stage quite uh, as badly off in terms of stamina and energy so we're going to press on and hoping that we can do the full round do like Harrison Stickle Pike a stick or uh, you know, don't tell it why. So, Jen, how do you want to do this? I think one foot in front of the other. We're going to head up there. We're going to bob from one can to the next. It's quite a scramble. I think this is um, it's North Rake or Jake's Rake. I'm not really quite sure. But we're going to make this thing people right at the top there, we're going to enjoy the view from there and even if this is just a little taster of the view, it is amazing. I mean we can see the Irish Sea over there, Morecambe Bay, I can see Windermere, I can see Coniston, this is all of Langdown here, Stickle Tarn down there, the views are just amazing. Well, it's quite a challenging climb, but it's not too bad for a beginner like we are. So, if you put your back into it, you can make it. But this goes back to what I was saying before about these sort of false bluffs. We got to here, and it's quite clear that there's like a plateau, and then there's another push for the top. This mountain just keeps fighting back. It doesn't want to let you get to the top quite as easy as you think you're going to. But we're going to defeat this mountain. We're going to make it to that top and we're going to be on top of the world.
once we crest this, it's a reasonably easier walk because it should be all downhill from here. This here is the peak of the uh, of the walk. And we got to pay the arc and uh, we've enjoyed the view. But this is a little smidgen higher. We had to go down before we went back up, but we're gonna get this done. And you always know you're on the right route when you find a stone staircase like this. This is one of the valleys that's come down uh, from near Harrison Pike. It's really nice if you can hear the waterfall, that's quite soothing and relaxing. And we're so close, we've been all the way up, right up beyond that bluff. We're walking down, but my knees are really giving me a lot of trouble. We've only got to go as far as there, so we're so close. Starting to struggle a little bit with the injuries on the knees, it's it's agony and what I can tell is that my knees have been telling me for quite some time that I'm going to pay heavily for this so tomorrow we're going to take it easy, we've got to drive home but this weekend um, I've really got to just sit back and not do anything much strenuous at all. So we conquered um, Stick of Gill, Stick of Tar, KVR, uh, Crag, Harrison Stickle, Harrison Pike. Um, we, we've we've conquered mountains here, but I just everything hurts. My knees are really bad. Dosed up on paracetamol, really good painkiller actually. Surprisingly underrated, but let's go for a drink. I hope you enjoyed that video, and certainly it was great to revisit that trip up the mountain. I know that there wasn't a railway in sight, but you know, model railways are far much more than the track and trains. And epic scenery is something that really makes or breaks a model and certainly sets the scene, sets the location, part of world, and even the time of year if you wanna build a layout that is set in winter, spring, summer, or autumn. And I hope that some of these videos and photographs that we took all those years ago really useful to you in getting you some inspiration of just how epic your scenery could get. Don't forget to like this video, share it too, and also subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying you take really great care of yourself. And I'll see you then. Bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Michael Churchwood, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Tepic, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian Smith, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Trish Bits, Sparky 107107, George Botterini, Andy Finch, Chris Moss, and Robert Sears, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grant Line Products. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.